Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm today doing a tour of my garden. By many requests, guys, after you've heard that I've lost my allotment, you wanted to kind of see what space I have to work with in a garden. So the sun is out first time in a very, very long time. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you around. So we're starting from the first corner, guys, when I'm filming. So we have the oil tank there and I have a composter behind there. So this is beginning of a garden. So you can see I've got quite tall bushes in here. And I have two pots that are right either side that are currently waiting for stuff to go in. This is one of the, I think is a pear tree that I dug up from the allotment in the sheer anger. On this side of the garden, again, we have another pear tree and we have a plum tree, which is doing really, really well. So if I follow through here, okay, so this is kind of the main entrance to the growing part. Um, so here, if you did watch, I did do a video last year, but I got rid of all of the uh, rosemary because I wanted to get a little bit more space, a little bit more light. Obviously not having allotments, every space um, is a premium. And around the corner here, I've got my hot bin composter, which is currently, I think, getting warmer. We are on 20 degrees. They do work well, but not three months like they promised anyway. So on this side here, guys, I do have some onions and they are underplanted with some radishes. Um, here I've got some spring onions, some walking onions, and I've got some sorrel. Um, this bed doesn't get a lot of light in the afternoon, so this will be made into a salad bed. So in here, guys, I do have three um, bushes. So I have the red currant, the black currant, and a gooseberry. Uh, here, if I come back here, this is the entrance to my kind of the growing, growing part here. Um, I have a rhubarb dug up from the allotment. I've got the residue of the um, rainbow chard and I have a grapevine, which is a new addition to the garden. Um, on the other side here, I have a blueberry bush, strawberries that are underplanted with garlic. On the floor, again, any space possible, guys, I'm underplanting this with the wild strawberries. So on the top, I have two washing, um, no washing baskets, so excuse the washing line, two um, hanging baskets that have strawberries and some flowers. So coming in, in here, it is a little bit messy, guys, it's work in progress. So I have big raised beds that are grown, tomatoes and some other veggies last year. I have here pre-prepared stackable pots, which will be stacked somewhere. They're basically looking something like that. So here, if you remember from last year, I just had, uh, didn't have any raised beds, so there was just a space, but it ended up getting really messy. So uh, we've built raised beds. Um, as you can see, I have a tall, tall hedging here and the roots are kind of started to come up to the surface. So we decided to basically um, build some raised beds to maximize um, the better crop basically. So I have here two more rhubarbs dug up from the allotment and yesterday I've built some of the trellises for my peas and dwarf beans. So on this side guys we have another raised bed. At the moment I have two rows of potatoes and one of them is coming up here and I've got some onions. So there will be, um, the level will be built up with a straw when potatoes start to grow. So here I have my strawberries in the, excuse the shadow, in the um, little pots, okay, stackable pots. They're absolutely brilliant. And I have a strawberry bed over here. This is my odds and sods, it used to be a herb bed, but, um, this is the apple tree I dug out from the allotment. And underneath, guys, I have loads of wild strawberries. They are doing absolutely brilliantly. I have a load of mint. I have chives. I have bay leaf that will have to be dug out. Um, I have some uh, thyme. I have some uh, oregano. And I have just loads more other random bits planted up here. Again, it's probably quite a big waste of space in terms of I have a lot of herbs, but I never have to buy any herbs again. And we do love mojito, so mint is doing magically well. So on this side here, it's another big raised bed. I'll show you this on the other side afterwards. So 
again i really don't like pots but because of the lack of the allotment now i kind of want to bulk it up so because i have the space i don't really mind and i've got my little cold frame here that's going to be for the cucumbers but we'll cup of course yeah it's growing there at the moment i've got my girlies in there at the moment we're repairing the lawn so they're staying in having fun right so first greenhouse guys right this is so we have uh, another strawberry little tower i just wanted to speed up the process for my little one so we'll have some inside some outside you can see my tomatoes they actually the ones that i bought they have grown really really big and i actually have a first flowers which is really really good um disappointingly my planted tomatoes are like look at that it's just tiny they're not doing really well but I've got some peas in there. I've got some other bits and bobs. Um, and the top, that's the only thing that's doing well, is my squashes, pumpkins, and cucumbers. I've got some weird Italian trailing cucumbers that are growing up there. I have a lovely little uh, climbing tomato plant I got from Tesco's. There were two for £10. I have red and the yellow in the other greenhouse. And here, guys, I've got some peas some more courgettes some calendulas to go in a basket in the front of the house and i've got a few more oh. and i've got a few more tomato plants in here so if i show you outside it's a bit messy we're in the middle of doing a few bits and bobs there I have a space in here that i have a rhubarb and mint but i'm thinking i might stuck up some potato plants there i don't know second greenhouse it's a bit of a not ready for a lot yet but um i have built another little trellis for my cucumbers because i always seem to struggle to support them inside the greenhouse unfortunately i don't have enough of height um so it is unfortunately what it is and then here i've put um one of the camo things because it does get super hot and it does um hurt some plants so here i've got some more cucumbers in there i've got some chili peppers that have been gifted to me and I've got really, really nice corn that it is ready, desperate to go out. You can see the roots are oh, roots are sticking out. And I've got some more courgettes. And one of the cool things as well, guys, look at that one. I rescued this from the allotment. Oh, this is one of the like 1950s greenhouse heater, paraffin heater. I absolutely love this. We're going to restore it. And of course, we're going to keep it. <laughs> So, and then here we have uh, sunflowers that need to go out and they've got some other bits and bob planted over there. So if we go out, I'll show you outside again. So on the one of the outside of the greenhouse, again, this is two of the current bushes that I've pulled out from the allotment in anger. Um, I'm not sure which ones, I think this one is a red one and this one I really don't know. But if I show you here again, I've bought a peach tree. I always wanted a peach tree. And I bought this one from um, Home Bargains for like five pounds. It's not particularly doing that great though. It's not really opening up, but I always, always wanted one and it's doing super well. Not super well, sorry. It's not doing that well. Right here, I show you. This is a bit of a mess at the moment, guys. Apologize, but I've planted up first all the biggest courgettes. And I am going to trail this on the stick. I've seen that people grow this like vertically so i wanted to give that a go so basically you pin it down okay and every time it grows it grows up like a tree so we'll see about that so um celery from last year some more chard that's literally coming to an end and some more onions on the top here i've got three lupins they are beautiful and bees absolutely love them so this is here is a bit of a mess but this is the bed they used to be where the two wooden raised beds are end it's probably going to go the front however i'm doing an experiment with some potatoes so i've got the big um pot here and a smaller pot and some other bits and bobs and i have soil ready to heal the potatoes in the pot and on here guys on the other side we do have a cherry tree it's been hit and miss every year it is growing but it's um yeah the birds end up eating the cherries all the time but that's that guys it gives you an idea really um what the space i have to work with um the whole length of a garden is 17 meters and it's 12 meters at the 
narrowest point and then 17 meters all of the way at the back from one wall to the end of the IBC tank. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea. So that's that guys, I hopefully you enjoyed the tour of my garden. I will be doing more videos this year because I do have a lot planned for my garden. So if you've got any suggestion or any ideas, please comment down below. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.